Hey guys, we're OS and VDXReviews.com. Today we're giving you our full unboxing of the Moby Blue Cube first generation model. Back when this device was first released a few years back, this was actually the world's smallest MP3 player. Now that's probably changed because technology, again, evolves at a very quick pace, but this is still something that's very small, and, and indeed for a, uh, a MP3 player with a full LED display, this is still smaller than the current generation of your iPod Shuffle. So it's a very tiny MP3 player if you like things that are small, invisible, easy to carry around with, with you again the Moby Blue Cube, the world's smallest MP3 player as judged by the world's uh, of Guinness World Record. So there you go, some more information about the box. It looks very much like a cube, it's very nicely designed. Uh, you can see how small it is on the top, and it comes in different colors, such as black and silver. And I have the one gig model here, it also comes in 512 and 256 megabyte versions. These are not user expandable, so they are fixed because this thing is, again, so small. I can put my thumb here and it covers it, basically. On the front, there's actually a screen, believe it or not. There's some controls you can see on the, on the box. Bottom. It's called a Cube Digital Player Hold Menu Switches. You have a voice recorder function built on here. Also, you have an FM, FM radio. Some sound and audio technologies include SRS Wow Digital Sound Quality. It has MP3 quality uh, uh, for digital audio, and it has a USB 2.0 connection port. And you can see those are controls for volumes, play and pause, and skip tracks for this device. And on the back, you have some more information. I'm just going to take off the tape and actually get to know this product. Um, some more stuff on the back. Let's learn about it a little bit more. Um, not too much to see. It's a world's smallest MP3 player. Fits in a palm. OLED display means it's visible under direct sunlight. Hot voice recording. Fold, folder navigation. Upgraded firmware. Connects to your PC or Mac. FM radio. SRS. Wow has a clock, so it actually displays the time. This is actually a pretty cool feature that I didn't really know about before. This means that you can actually use this as, as a little watch or a clock, kind of like the current generation of the iPod Shuffle or the last generation of the iPod Shuffle, um, or even like the iPod Nano, the small one where you can use it as a watch. This also displays time, you can wear it around your neck, and it becomes a small watch, a smart watch for that matter, but it doesn't really do anything else but play songs and again display time and record video as well, record sound as well as playback FM radio. So let's take it out. Nice packaging. Uh, we have a box which is a separate compartment for the accessories, I do believe. And then the, FM, the MP3 player just sits in here, it's already kind of out of its little socket because it's just a piece of plastic holding it in. So there you go. This is actually the device itself. Very tiny. We're going to get back to this product later. Let's see what accessories are included out of the box. Let's open this up. It's quite heavy, actually. So right out of the, the box, you have a silicon case for this product. Because it's so unique, it's not going to have a lot of third-party cases. It's nice it's included out of the box. It's a silicon case uh, for the device with all the ports and accessories easily accessed. Again, it's a cube, perfect cube, so it's kind of nice and neat. It's clear and invisible, so it shows off the color of the cube that you originally purchased. You also have a pair of headphones, which are pretty generic and third-party. Uh, in addition, you have some manuals, what it looks like. Some information from Moby Blue. There you go. This is also the DAHI500i series. There's some more information about track information, playing back songs. It's all in monochrome, black and white, so no color on here. Built in lithium iron rechargeable batteries also here. And uh, firmware updates, connecting to PCs and Macs, lanyard cords, taking notes, settings, and stuff like that. Pretty interesting. Uh, other accessories included, we have again your headphones, which are very generic, and some ear pads for the headphones. Now, the Moby Blue Cube can be purchased at a lot of locations. One of those locations include Walmart. Uh, the one gig model that we have here originally cost $60, and uh, you could also get it for uh, more or less, depending on where you looked. Now, in today's standards, street price of this one gig model is going to run you around um, $30 online, so it's not as expensive anymore, but it's still something pretty uh, cool to check out. There's your Q Digital CD for installing the drivers and the such. Also, you have some wall adapters and stuff. Because the Moby Blue Cube is so small, it actually doesn't have a dedicated charger jack. It actually shares the charger jack with the headphone port, which is 3.5 millimeters. So like the iPod Nano, uh, not the iPod Nano, sorry, but like um, 
the iPod Shuffle, it actually uses the headphone jack as a charging jack, which is something interesting to note. There you go, this is a wall adapter to US wall socket, and it also connects to a regular uh, USB, which is included as well. As you can see here, one end you connect it to your device, and the other end becomes a USB for charging it or syncing it via your PC or charging it via a wall outlet, like so. You can also see that the other end of this USB cable is gold-plated for tight connection, and uh, the device just plugs in to the very top, and you know you can charge it like this. Very lightweight and very small. Let's take a brief uh, hardware tour around this device itself. We can see that the screen is on the very front. It's very small and tiny. Um, again, it's very shiny and reflective. A little bit hard to see under direct sunlight. We have a screen protector here, so I believe we can take that out. There we go. And also, on the top of the device, we have a lanyard cord for hooking this thing up to uh, a lanyard to wear around your neck or wrist. And you have a 3.5mm headphone jack. And on the right-hand side, you have access to all your controls, media controls, the volumes, the skip tracks, and the play-pause buttons. Pretty tactile, easy to press, uh, very reminiscent of the iPod, you know, shuffle or nano series, depending on where you look. There's a reset hole on the bottom, a screw. On the other side, you have the menu and the hold key on the back. You get some more information about the product. It's made in Korea, but the actual product itself is actually made entirely out of metal, so it feels very good in the hand. And again, it's incredibly tiny. So it's small as a nickel or coin. Um, so... Tiny little MP3 player you're going to check out if it's uh, really good audio quality or not. Hopefully it is, and if it is, we'll recommend it to you guys. So thanks for watching this video unboxing of the Moby Blue Cube, the world's smallest MP3 player, uh, the 1GB model. Thanks for watching.